Hi everyone, welcome to the Felred Express. Today, Christopher, Adam, and myself are going to play Tau Seti. It's our Kickstarter preview and our Kickstarter Game of the Month. Look at this manual, it's huge! So Tau Seti, for the uninitiated, is what's referred to as a 4X game. Explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate. Explosions. Only four X's. Oh, sorry. Uh, this game is kind of like a Sid Meier's Civilization layout. Uh, you have so many different opportunities. It's based entirely off of how you want to play, how you want to win, and if someone's going to attack you, how you want to defend yourself. That's right. It's a modular tile game, which means every time you play, the game's going to be a little bit different, and whatever strategy you use, there's ways to earn victory points. Uh, today, we've got our print-and-play version, so it's a little bit different from the game you'll actually receive in the box. And uh, we've added some pieces to it, our custom board game pieces, and we've even got uh, pieces that we're using from Risk Legacy to fill in as our spaceships. So I'm going to be floating my dune buggy through the uh, outer space of Tal City. Sounds good! All right, let's bring Adam in and uh, start playing, and then after we play this game, uh, we'll give you our thoughts on it. Yeah. Yeah, we start yeah, the uh, enlightenment phase. That's right. That's right. Let's clap, clap, clap. Oh yeah, we have to start. Every study and cycle with that. All right. Okay, so. enlightenment phase. Draw a random resource cube from the enlightenment bag and reveal to all players. All right. So we've got these colors set up, and it's going to be one of the planets. It's going to be green. It's yellow it's again. It's mine again. Oh, take that. Okay. Yep, got the crisis and the uh, specialist cards. So now we have to play our own crisis or specialist cards. <clears throat> Since I am Ambassador Anor, I am telepathic and can look at the active deck before playing cards. We've all made our choices, and so we flip over the active deck. There's no reason to shuffle it. And uh, yeah, so this is the specialist card, and this is the crisis card. The symbols don't match which means the crisis takes place, and this just goes to the bottom of the specialist deck. Uh, since it's a uh, cosmic crisis, we take this cosmic symbol, mm -hmm. and we flip it over and see that it uh, affects the technology department, which means our technology is increased in uh, price. Which means I bought my engine upgrade at a wonderful time. So. As you can see, my computers are damaged right now, so the last thing I really want to do is get into a space fight. But I'm going to explore, reduce my energy by one. Watch out, man. Come right. And I'm going to explore the uh, cosmic energy that I just encountered. Okay, so you're going to explore this cosmic energy right yes, here. So that's What's yours. It Flip it over. That is the symbol for chemical. So he gets a chemical knowledge if he can successfully make the roll on the knowledge check. Um, Use your industry skills to take a sample of the glowing chemical. Sorry, I've got good industry. Okay, so I don't have industry skills. Which means yours is a two. It's a two, so Which I roll two dice. Industry. I roll two <clears throat> dice. Um, and I have Industry is the pitchfork. I gotta try and get between a nine and a sixteen on two. Pickaxe? Pickaxe. Stop it. Ah, uh, so you got, got a, five. a seven. So, I, I did get this knowledge because I've got the five. One, weapons. I'd rather have the shields. <laughs> so, if that's your, uh, is that your level that's four? four? That's my that's four. That's four die. Yeah. Five or a six is a successful. Way to roll okay. everywhere. You got a six. I got a six. So, well, I, that's great. what, I get four now? That's cool. One, four down. Two, three, four. And now you can discard it. I'm also going to do Intergalactic Mission, All right. one, two, three, and I hope mine isn't like teaches Xenomorphs how to love or something. <laughs> Completely ridiculous. Oh man. Something that plays to my strengths would be science. That would be teaching the Xenomorphs to love. Oh, okay. Freaking Zeron Asteroid. I know, the Zeron Asteroid is just really popular for these interplanetary it's, it's missions. It's the hot, it's the hot place to be. So that's where, that's where everybody wants to be, huh? Yeah, it's around the time of spring break, so 
Why not? Rome Springer. Rome Springer. No, space Springer. Space Rome Springer. Space Rome Springer. Everything's better when you put space in front of it. Rome Springer. Actually, Rome Springer in looks space. pretty. Looks pretty intense. How did you move your orbitals, Josh? I had to build. I built the orbital. I gotta build. Okay. That means I need to move to the left one. This marker. There, and then this goes back in the bag. Planet. Planet. And that counts as a victory point too, so. Okay. You have an orbital in this sector of space for three victory points, and you've got one of your cubes back on your planet for a victory point. I'm going to attack you, Adam. Uh, jerk. I threw down my uh, my hexagon of battle. Uh, I hate the hexagon of battle. And I'm going to attack now. I roll four dice. Ah, the dread. I roll terribly. I target. Yeah. I target your cargo. Your shield, and then your weapon system. Ah! So your weapons took a hit. Ah! That took two hits. Ah! That doesn't take a hit. Roll the number of dice equal to your computer power. You have two now, because one of them's damaged. Four and four. You lost one there. You lost two on your shield, and then that was blocked. I won. I don't want to retreat. You don't have to. I'm not retreating. Spoils of war! I'm shooting you! You've already died. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I can steal one of the following from the loser. Do you have any knowledge tokens? No. Nope. Do you have any onboard commodities? I can't steal that either. <laughs> Crisis or specialist cards? Nope. Um, nope. I get nothing from Adam. <laughs> you lose! Good day, sir. <laughs> all he, all you did was really screw up Adam's spaceship. Oh, all I did was I messed up your ship. <laughs> You're a jerk. Uh, but it's like, why did you attack me? I'm, I just really wanted to see you hurt. I'm a bad man. That's a good day. I got five. I have 13. You, I could take all of your points and Adam's points. <sighs> double them. Shut up, that Trump. Might... <laughs> <laughs> I'm winning big in the galactic field. People on... Zuno, love me. All right, guys, so we just finished playing uh, Talos Eddie. Christopher won by landslide, but we did play a quick version of the game uh, just so that we could learn it and mm -hmm. for the video. But uh, Christopher, what did you think? Okay, I, I really like the game. I, I genuinely do. I like that it's got a modular map. Always a fan of that. That it's always different every time. Yeah. I like that you can shift cards between players that so you don't always have to play as the same people every time the upgrades um it, it's just a lot of fun there is a really sharp learning curve to this game i've got the instructions that i printed off over here it's he slapped like me with the 26 because you deserve somebody it. help it's me it's like 26 pages call um, 911 and there are so many different small actions that you can do we got like four rounds into it and everything started clicking it really made sense yeah. but when you look through this it, it looks dense but i promise you it's actually not when you look at oh how do i figure out how much an upgrade costs it's got an equation for that yeah. what do i do how do i expand into other territories that see that little green symbol that got me a bunch of victory points that's because it's oh it's part of just bringing your orbital out there yeah. oh wait someone can fly out there and shoot it up I love that. I love that it's cooperative. I love that it's combative. Mm -hmm. I love that you could just completely ignore one another and just go your own way, expand in the you solar system, <laughs> and, and do your own thing. And it's just every man for himself. You don't have to have a dog in the fight. But uh, I, now I'm just rambling. I really like the game. It was good. It was good. I would like to see as possibly a stretch goal, maybe some uh, different commanders for the ships, because I felt as the Tolis race, <laughs> Republic, the Republic of, of Trial Lore, the yeah. one with the death ray on yeah. the asteroid. <laughs> I, I felt as a Trialorian. Uh, so it was your death ray. I had to disarm. You're welcome. Yeah, I liked my death rays, man. Yeah. Uh, I felt like I was locked into uh, this big, brainy, big-eyed, brainy blue guy. Yeah, uh, I, I could completely agree with that. I would uh, love to see more commanders or um, people that you can play as for each of the alien races mm -hmm. as a stretch goal. I think that'd be and great. They have, like, different stats, different abilities. Yeah. yeah, my telepathicness really came in handy. Oh, yeah. These two schmucks didn't have that. Yeah. I, um... 
I was a little worried about the dice mechanic, about having to get a five or a six in order to achieve victory in just about anything in the game, but uh, actually after playing it, the dice mechanics are actually really simple and mm -hmm. it keeps the game uh, from being too complicated and it's, uh, it's still fun and yeah, you can get victory on it, but uh, I like the options, I like how the game can fluctuate and turn on you each setting and cycle that you go through. You might be behind and then a crisis might hit somebody else that can uh, really throw things in your favor that you've maybe got cards collected over here for that gives you victory points and you know so the game is not going to be one-sided I think is what mm -hmm. I always say. Um, but yeah I mean I, I really can't think of anything I would like to see added to this game except for uh, you know, just more of the same and more commanders for the alien races. And and if I could chime in one more thing uh, about You've that. You've talked about long enough, cut. About the size of this the game. End. I'm not sure. I, I didn't check it before I came here. I don't know how much this game is actually going to cost when it goes to market. But this game, as we played it right now, comes with so many different things that you could probably cut this game in half and it would still be a great value. It feels like, as I was playing it, I was playing a game that had three or four expansions added on to it, plus an additional set of advanced rules that go throughout the entire manual that we didn't even touch. It's gonna be a long time before anyone can actually say, you know what, I'm done with that game. Oh, also something else I forgot to mention, you can play this one player. If you are if you are just a basement dwelling troll and you have no friends, you can we play this whole you. game. Yeah, we salute you. Thank God for you. Uh, you can play this game as well, and there's a whole set of instructions for that. Uh, much more simplified, but man, it's a it's a big game. Great value. Christopher's a lonely basement troll. I got the last <laughs> word in. Good night, everybody. If you liked our uh, video, make sure you check out uh, the link right here. That'll take you to the Tau City uh, campaign page. And as always, like and subscribe and check out more of the Fell Road Express. Facebook, Twitter. Bye. <laughs>